Okay, guys, it's time for us to go. Tom, we'll take you back to the lab where you can spend some time with Professor Einbach. And Ugu, I'll take you back to your cave. Okay, lady, whatever you say. No! I'm never going to leave this place. Why? Tom broke my sacred fang necklace. <gasps> no, I didn't. He broke it himself. And he Children. hit all the fangs so I couldn't find them. The spirits will be angry with me if I return home without it. Tattletale. Tom, why did you That's break Ugu's necklace? serious business, dude. I won't do it again, but Ugu's a tattletale. Okay, we'll fix Children. Ugu's necklace, Ugh. then we'll leave. Tom, where did you hide the fangs? Poor Ugu. Fang, fang, rawr. I still don't understand how she can move these tombstones with her hands. I do not want me to find this thing. Are you kidding? Well, at least we found all of them. My necklace! <clears throat> Thank you! You welcome. Now the spirits will look on us favorably. I want my mommy. I want to go home to my cave! Okay, guys. Both of you take my hands. Connecting. To laboratory, 2008. Wait, is she holding her cell phone with her teeth? Anyway. Einbach. So, he lapsed into his childhood? Tom, yep. do you like milkshakes? I love to play computer games. Well, I hope you two find a common language. Tom, I'll be right back, okay? Don't worry, Vera. I'll look after him. Ugu, give me your hand. It's time to go home. I love how they just Connecting hobble around. To Stone Age. End of chapter 13. And this is where I'll leave you for today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Mushroom Age. I'm Vicky and as soon as this loading screen is out of the way, we'll get started. <sighs> Unfortunately, what happened here was that 
I was playing this with my friends, but the audio wasn't working, so you couldn't hear anything we were saying. So this is a voiceover. Yay! Technology! This is awesome. Not. I'm pretty angry that that happened. But we're going to make it better. Come on, load. Damn, that T-Rex is a fine butt. Ass. I should say ass. Alright. Start. Yep, chapter 14. Cave philosophy. Hooray! I'm home! Socrates, you also ended up in a different time. That sucks. I don't know where I am, but I think I'm going crazy. Yep. Why? Are you familiar with my philosophy? The basics, sure. But they... Th okay, now why are you losing uh, your mind? Someone skipped over. Do you over. see the shadows on the wall? No. Well, I see them. Well, step aside and let me look. All right, so... Yes, I can see something. There's but don't worry. They're everywhere. just mental projections from your mind. And we'll she can see them. them now and everything <laughs> will be okay. Everything's fine. We can just see the imaginary... Sa she can see the imaginary shadows on the wall that Socrates sees. Does anyone else notice the problem with that? Yeah, whoever was playing was playing very slowly. I think this was Stefan. You might remember him from the Amnesia series. <laughs> yeah, he's a funny character. Why are there smiley faces everywhere? I'm mystified. Or maybe this was Roxy. I think Roxanne was playing. That's what was going on. Eh. Uh -huh. So one thing I'd like to bring up about this game is another loophole. What was his name? Um, Nostradamus' Elixir of Understanding? Well, wasn't that only for... Well, how do I phrase this? Well, Vera had to create the, the mixture by herself so that the, the potion would work for her, right? She would give the potion to a creature or person she could not understand, and then she would magically understand them, right? Well, in this game, it seems that everyone else can understand the creature as soon as she gives them the elixir of understanding. Is this supposed to happen? So let's say, for example, uh, she gives it to Dino, right? And then... Einbach can understand Dino as well. I mean, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. So, if you drink this elixir of understanding, everyone in the world is going to be able to understand you. But, Vera has to make it. No, the person who gives it to you has to make it? Or is that the rules? I guess. I don't know. They're still looking for smiley faces. There's two left. There's one on the bench. I see it. Come on, bench. <coughs> Click the bench. You can do it. Go on. <laughs> oh dear. This might take a while. <laughs> oh, they're waiting for the hint. Okay. So, yesterday, I finally got my first cell phone. And I'm so excited about that. But, more importantly, I also bought Portal 2. And I plan to do um, a Let's Play of that, of course. And a Let's Play of the Co-op. So, is the cave wall all clean? Absolutely clean. How did you manage to clean it? 
Mr. Clay? You know, Socrates. Magic eraser. <laughs> you need to eat more fruit and swim in the sea. And then you'll never go crazy again. What? It's pure genius. Swimming in fruit. I like that philosophy. Is it possible to reach an absolute truth using swimming in fruit? Huh? Uh... Every philosophical system must come to an absolute truth. If you can reach the absolute truth using swimming in fruit, then I swear to Zeus, I'll get up every morning and swim and eat fruit. I'll try. Okay. What? <laughs> this is a puzzle? How in the world is this a puzzle? Uh, okay. This game is a little weird. Intelligence. One must activate the mind. Love. Good. Compassion. Fruit. No. Nope. That doesn't work either. Oh dear. Where do we start? Oh. Fruit for health. Broken heart? You can't hear <laughs> your broken heart. <laughs> Evil doesn't need healing. An acid? What? Gosh, this is confusing. Nope. Sun? Ah, the mind. Okay. An intelligent thought, but what are we going to experience? Compassion. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cruelty defeated. That's okay. Loneliness, okay. Do it. Cure loneliness, that's good. Experience, good. And that defeats evil. Which apparently creates an absolute truth. I don't know. This game is weird. You are a real philosopher. I am absolutely sure that you will be absolutely fine if you don't try to make absolute truth your absolute goal or make another absolute out of an absolute truth. Because making an absolute out of an absolute is absolutely ridiculous, you know. Really? Absolutely. What was that? Let's go look. 